Right, we're in the mangroves here. Got the kids home from school. Mm. The mud is really cold. Um, I come from we're gonna, country. we've got this little mini pot. We're gonna set. We found some massive crab holes and um, I don't even have an, another pot right now. So we're gonna set this dilly up, try and make some sort of trap that the crab can crawl into and hopefully it gets stuck outside another crab hole. But we are on the path through the mangroves. Is we're it fun? Yes, yeah, it's very fun. We are going to catch a crab. Yeah, we are. And the good thing is about my part, I don't have to bend down. A good girl. Daddy's bending down in here. Makes it a bit harder for me. But pretty easy for them. See how you've got all these uckles around here? So while I, I check the hole, you look around at the mangrove roots at the bottom. And without making it too dirty, you just look, look at the bottom. You can just go back here, see where this mound is. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh that's got to be a big crab. Oh, can I see? Holy dude. See? They got camp squatted again. Told you. Yeah, you look good. Good girl. That's what it would have been eaten. Yeah, I'll find that. I see it! Oh! He dropped it, but we got it out. <laughs> Another big one. We caught one. Did you me? It's lean yeah. though. Look, it literally grabbed your fingers. Yeah. Look, got one already. How good's that? Look, it's another big boy. It's huge. Oh my god. Okay, Dad, this one. is compared to my hand. Yep. Wow, hey. how good is that? We got a feed tonight. <laughs> Already? How do we know it's man? Because it's got like a triangle sort yeah. of. That's it. And, it's like and you a, can't and like, get it off. And like a male's like sort of a curve. And you can't get it off. Female. And you, A female's like a curve circle. And you can't thing. get that yeah. thing off. Good work. Cool. So guys, we came fishing. We came fishing over here. And in 10 minutes, we caught this big fella. Decent size. Yeah, but you won't, be, you won't believe us though. We caught, we have caught a bigger one, but think, I think this is our second biggest one we've caught. The um, the so, the that one is like one cent bigger. All right, see when you come across crab holes oh, like this, yeah, grab a grab a fish head there. Right, this one, this one. Fish yeah, put it down in there. Get the get the hook and push it down. That way, we keep the we bring in another crab. See? We keep we bring in another crab, and um, it's so it can look after the hole, and then that way we can um come back and you know, there's another crab in there. Yeah. Cool, huh? Yeah, all cool. Like this right here, we're gonna try and make a little contraption. What about we just make a beautiful staircase for it? <laughs> Pretty much, eh? Hey? Yeah. All right, we've got a massive crab hole here as well. Can't reach the uh, the back of or the bottom of. So now we're just going to dangle this up in here. And I'll get a log. I'll put it leading up to it. And hopefully it crawls up to it and falls in. See, there's the crab hole there. The crab be able to climb up here and fall in. Goes to try and eat that bait. But I'll try and tie this in here a bit.
Cool. Well, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully a crab can climb up in here through all this and then falls in there and sort of gets tangled up against this chasing that. Who knows if it's gonna work, but we're gonna find out. I think it's cool coming up with ideas with, with uh, the things you have. And, uh, we'll wait this tide and we'll come back to this RV and see how we went. Hey, Dad. Let's go for a look. Let's go for a look and see if we can find a place out of the wind. Yes. Come on. Got our rods and all our gear. We do have this mouth over here. So we'll throw off into that, the deeper section there. Good work. Go, 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 go. Work it, work it, work it. Pull it. Big alligator guy. <laughs> We're finally back to check the the pot in that dilly trap that we sort of set up. The last few tides now have been close to six meters, so the water has actually been getting getting up to them. So let's fingers crossed we get up there today and we have something maybe in the trap or even in the pot. We did set them outside some holes, but uh, we, we weren't sure about that, but um, we'll see how we go. We're just tracking, making our track on the way there. Now, we're just coming up to the, the trap now. This is the one we put with the dilly outside that crab hole. Unless we couldn't really... It worked! No way! Look, there's the crab hole just there. Look. What? <laughs> it worked! What is it? It's a buck. Yeah, he's got a bit of movement. Well, there you go, look. The trap did work. Climbed up there and fell into the trap. That's so cool. Woo! I'm excited that it worked. The hell is that? It's a little handy trick. Learned from the old fella too. Hold down the claw. A wedge stick in there so they can't open it. Open their claw again. See, look, yeah, that one's open. That's closed now. We'll close it. I'll just wash her off and give you a look. There, can't open his claws. There you go. So now I don't have any rope, but I can chuck it in my bag and not bite me.
still just poking along here but the little trick is here is when you're walking in these places where it's hard to see it's not about walking fast and covering all the distance it's about taking it slow having a good look at the bottom of the roots as you move along make sure you can actually see before you just just keep climbing and moving along climbing moving along look here another uncle goodness getting bigger which is really cool I can see heaps of crab feeding spots there's all these uncle shells broken up in one patch one area and then uh, I'll continue on then there's another one there's another one so there's quite a few little areas where they are out feeding which is a good sign so we'll keep continuing on because oh, my bet is we'll catch one eating one <laughs> 